What's up guys, Kevin here. So the Sony wackos are really upset that Xbox guys are looking forward to Psychonauts 2. They just did some previews with a lot of Xbox fanboys, which I don't have, have an issue with, but you know, you got to take it with a grain of salt. These guys are going to preview Xbox studio game and are they going to give it a bad preview? That being said, I think uh, some more neutral um, outlets gave a good preview as well, too. And the Sony wackos. So when I say Sony wackos, you could be a Sony fanboy. You can call yourself a pony. Um, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking to people that go online and go on Twitter and bring up Ratchet and Clank because it looks miles better. Way better than Psychonauts 2. And... Um, you know, and the Xbox guys are saying, well, it's an art style. I will say Psychonauts 2, I don't like that Tim Burton look. I, I don't like Tim Burton. I don't think I really liked anything he's ever done, even Nightmare Before Christmas. I, I like Todd Sweeney. Todd Sweeney was actually kind of fun. Um, but this game, you know, I'll play it just because it is coming to Game Pass. But I have to say, Psychonauts 2 is shaping up to be a more memorable game than Ratchet and Clank or Rift Apart. I say that because I played Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I platinumed it. And unfortunately, it's another Sony one and done. And to me, a one and done is I play it, I enjoy it, and then as soon as I beat it, it's forgotten about. Um, I don't think it is up to the standard of a Sony defining title. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I'm not seeing, I'm not hearing the greatness of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's just a game that looks good. And any game that looks good, we know graphics wise, does not hold up over time. I'm not saying 20 years from now, the game is going to look like crap, but we'll have thousands of games that's going to look way better that's just how graphics progress and it's usually the gameplay and the um story that really makes these games memorable and makes us want to go back and play a game from 20 30 years ago ratchet and clank i just think it's a fine game it's a fine 2021 game a very good looking game I just don't think anything else is very memorable. The gameplay is pretty good, especially once you start getting all these weapons. But um, just the short nature of it, it's a Sony one and done. And from what I'm seeing from Psychonauts 2, now I still got to play it and see if I'll even beat it. But from what I'm seeing, they're, these are two different franchises. People wanted a Psychonauts 2. Because people love Psychonauts 1. And it's definitely not the art style that is making people crave this game. Though it is very unique and bright and colorful. So maybe to an extent, yeah. But from what I understand, the story is good. And it's really fun. And that's what I'm seeing from Psychonauts 2. I'm seeing a more memorable game. A year from now, people are going to still talk about Psychonauts 2 than Ratchet and Clank or Rift Apart. I'm just putting that out there. I'll, where's my guarantee, my Charles Barkley guarantee button? I'll slap that. I can guarantee it. Could I be wrong? Sure. Maybe they'll do like a DLC for Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> so then everyone's talking about it. But I'm just seeing a game that's going to be carried by less of its really impressive graphics and more about its story. And... It sounds a lot of fun, too. So I think Psychonauts 2 is going to hold up better than Ratchet & Clank or Rift Apart. Um, R Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, graphics-wise, looks great. Looks excellent. Nobody is denying that. Nobody is denying that. But you see, that's where Insomniac put a lot of their focus on. Let's make a Ratchet & Clank game that looks very good. And is enjoyable to play. They did a great job there. But I think Psychonauts 2 is going to be carried more by its story and set pieces. And I think just for that alone, it's a more memorable game. We'll wait and see. But 
let's just wait for these games to come out or Psychonauts 2 to comes out and see how it does. I'm excited to do my Metacritic score game. Real quick, I'll probably say like an 88, but I'll, I'll do a proper video on that in the next week or so. But until then, let's stop comparing these two games. They're, they're both coming to PlayStation, or at least Psychonauts 2 is coming to PlayStation. Um, I know there's that whole, like, <laughs> Psychonauts 2 doesn't run as well on PlayStation 5 as it does on the Series X, but, you know, I'm sure it's still going to be good. Anyways, tell me what you think about this whole weird situation and what you game, what game do you think will win out? I'm not talking about sales. I'm talking about which game a year from now will we look back on and go and think happy thoughts about. I think it's Psychonauts 2. Tell me what you think and I'll talk to you later. Later.